Hey everybody, I thought I'd do a Q&A real quick because I've been getting a lot of questions. So here goes. Um, first question is, um, you're hiking the Appalachian Trail. That's interesting. How long will that take? Well, the answer is it takes between four and seven months for most people. I'm giving myself between April 1st and September 30th to do it. That's six months. So my plan is to leave from Harpers Ferry, West Virginia on April 1st, get to Maine by the end of June, and then back to Georgia by the end of September. Second question, how far is it? Well, it changes every year, but it's close to 2,200 miles. It goes from Georgia to Maine through 14 states. Next question, what about bears? They're out there. <laughs> and there's a lot of uh, protection that you need to take, especially with procuring your food, storing it in bear tight containers, on poles and cables up in trees, following all the local safety regulations. But if you run into a bear, the best thing to do is make yourself as big as possible and yell as loud as you can, hey bear, bang things together, do whatever you can. But when you're in super bear country, it's best that you have bear spray. And bear spray works like pepper spray on steroids. Um, it works from like 12 to 30 feet away and it um, sprays uh, aerosol and so it can blow back in your face. So it's good to test it out with the inert can it comes with so you're familiar with how to use it when you might need it. So bears are out there, but mostly they leave you alone. What else am I going to take a, am I going by myself? Yes. Yes. This is a solo journey. This is a lifelong dream. I spent weeks on the trail when I was in high school and I've always wanted to come back and finish it. And I just have the chance now. The seas have parted. Um, things have come together in my life to make this possible. I'm very excited. So yes, solo journey. But you're never really alone on the AT. There's day hikers, there's section hikers, there's other through hikers. You're on the trail every day, thousands and thousands of trails and volunteers maintaining the trail, making it safe and passable. What if I get lost? Well, there's an app for that. <laughs> um, there's a couple of apps. The first one is Far Out that I'll be using to track my daily travel on the AT. It marks water sources, points of interest, exactly where you are on the trail at all times. Not to mention the blazes that are on the trees. Little white blazes. Hundreds of thousands of them along the way that make sure you're on the right path. White blaze. That's what you want to look for. <laughs> Um, let's see, what else do I get asked? Am I going to take a gun? People ask me this. Um, no, I'm not taking a gun. I am not doing that for a few reasons. One is I don't have a gun that I feel comfortable handling right now. And number two, it's not really lawful in any of the national parks. So what you go through the Shenandoahs, the Smokies and others. So it's, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. Plus, it weighs a lot. And I'm going to try to get your pack weight down. Next question, how much does your pack weigh? Well, I've worked really hard. And with three days of food and two liters of water, I'm still under 26 total pounds. Yes. Such a win, you guys. You have no idea. Work so hard for that. Okay. Um, what about bathing? Uh, so the AT wraps through all these little mountain towns in and out, in and out. About every three to four days, um, you can access the town to resupply your food, brush your teeth with, uh, toothpaste, um, wash yourself. Um, about every seven to 10 days, I'm planning to take a day off. That's called a zero day because there's no miles that happen that day. And, um... 
spend it in a hostel at a campground and at a Dell hot springs, whatever is available to me for self-care, refresh and reflect it. Um, because as long as you're hitting your mileage miles that you need to hit each day, um, six months, you still should be able to take about 40 days off. Let's see. And then the last question I get a lot of the time is, what about work? Well, I'm going to ask my employer for a leave of absence. They don't typically do that, especially not paid. So I expect they won't go along with that. So ultimately, I'll have to probably resign from my job and try and um, find another job when I get off too. So I'm saving money to replace the income loss to fund my trip and pay for my bills while I'm gone. Oh, and I guess the last one, last one for real. What am I scared of? FOMO. I'm scared of missing out on the people I love and the things that are going on in their life when I'm on trail. That's what I'm scared of the most. Not bugs, not bears, not elevation, not ticks, not any of the rest of it. Weather, people, wildlife. No, it's FOMO. <laughs> so anyway, maybe that helps answer a few questions for you guys. Take care.